Next section. Gun safety. The gun violence is ep the epidemic is a scourge ripping apart communities. It is like leading it is the leading cause of death for children and teens. Mass shootings at schools, grocery stores, like houses of worship, dance halls, and nightclubs, as well as like daily gun violence at homes on the streets and devastated American communities. I won't dispute that. I'm not going to dispute that because like mass shootings happen so regularly in the United States of America. And yes, something should be done. I think there should be some common sense gun reform as well too. Uh, like and. I'm fine with like bans and certain like weapons like the AR-15s or other assault weapons as well too. I'm very ignorant about like guns and uh, midges using guns and that sort of thing too. That's why I will defer to other leftists that are that happen to be also be like gun nuts and passionate about guns, but also I like, think there should be some reasonable like uh, gun rest, uh, reform and that sort of thing too. And I'll defer to them on what. Uh, laws should be like passed and how to word such laws and so that like um you're not taking away people's guns except for certain guns as but yet you kind of still enshrine because again i just accept that like we're never going to ban guns honestly i personally don't think we're ever going to ban guns and even if we do somehow outright ban guns the fascists are still going to stockpile whole holes of guns and I'm not sure how good those uh, fascists are at shooting as well, too. But, like, that's another thing. And there's a reason that they tote out those, like, guns or just, like, will wear them on the hip and uh, have a t-shirt that says, come take them. Come eh, come at me, bro. Come out there. They're posing. They're flexing. They, like, they're... The reason why they, like, uh, hold on to a gun and, like, hey, use the gun and that sort of thing, too, is because they're scared. But also, based on research the a majority of like the reason why the majority a lot of people happen to be have conservative values or be conservatives is because of a fear a fear of something a fear existential fear or they project that fear that they have onto well marginalized people and minorities the immigrants are taking my jobs or like and it's like it's, it's honestly it's like based on like nothing you know, like it's like based off of racism as well too a uh, whole thing of like they're like eating the cats and eating dogs sort of thing too uh, which absolutely false it's just it's a racist trope uh, as well too but yet got mentioned on the debate stage i mean it is it's yeah they're just like fear of change is like one thing because like they fear that like if the new normal is like of uh, queer people being accepted as the new normal or Muslim people being accepted as just like regular Americans like you and I, I they somehow fear that like well then what does that make me? It's like you're fine as you are, you know, and you as a white person might be in the minority soon, but that's fine too. But they're afraid that they're going to be treated as badly as they treat other minorities. Yeah, so we're still in the section on, like, uh, gun safety in Chapter 5, uh, Protecting Communities and Tackling the Scorch of Gun Violence Hotel. So, gun safety. Um... A President Biden, the President Biden has been fighting and beating the gun lobby for decades, and he continued to do so as president. With his leadership, Congress passed a bipartisan, like a safety uh, communities act, BASCA, um, and the first significant federal like uh, gun safety laws in it was thirty years. I guess there hasn't been many like uh, federal uh, gun safety laws anyway, as well too. So any uh, gun safety laws that get passed would be significant as well too, or be significant in its first one of its kind. Mm, but continue on. It can it includes the first ever like a uh, uh, federal gun trafficking and straw purchasing law, uh, enhanced background checks for gun purchasers on the age of twenty one, um, funding to imply red flags laws, a narrowing of the boyfriend loophole to keep guns out of the hands of domestic abusers, and new requirements to like all gun dealers and now must conduct background checks no matter where or how they sell their merchandise. Yeah, there's like kind of like a, the exception where if you're at a gun show that you like you can bypass that sort of thing apparently and i really do hope that that they do that that these are red flag laws and this sort of things are actually in fact because like i kind of agree if you're convicted if you were convicted of like a domestic abuse that i don't think you should like own the gun uh because like i uh you were most likely to be using in that like gun in like violent circumstances as well too uh i would be surprised if that actually goes in effect because like 40 percent of police officers have been convicted of domestic abuse and that's only the ones that have been convicted 
and probably more they have been convicted uh because like it, uh, their like victims have to come forward because like who would believe them especially if like the blue wall sounds so it's like oh but he's my buddy he's a cop and something like that i don't believe him as well too you might have just you must have just uh, fell down the stairs or something like that the, the cops come down, sometimes like to pick to blame people as well too or say what was she wearing or just not believe women as well too which is why a lot of rape kits are uh, rarely get tested as well too um okay so if, if so if the 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 right for life laws and airing the boyfriend loophole that actually does go into effect like i guess i'm fine with like some cops having the guns being removed from them as well and if that limits them like in their like uh, capacity to be able to do their jobs as a police officer i'm fine with that because uh, my opinions are police is that they're not here to serve or protect us they're here to serve protect capital anyway um continue on and the laws that help like the schools like hire and train a estimated 14,000 school-based mental health professionals including counselors psychiatrists and so forth i was like afraid they were going to say cops in this section because of like an estimated 14,000 ghoul based cops, it was like, I'm just because I don't think cops should belong in schools. Uh, security guards and like other things, too. Yeah, because like I had a security guard in like uh, my school or like uh, someone who's charged the security at the school and so on. Like, no, I don't know if he had like carried a gun. Um, and I'm fine with that. And someone for security, yes, but like not necessarily a cop. But no, yeah, it's health professionals, uh, counselors, psychiatrists, and like uh, social you know, workers, absolutely for schools. Especially since like we are forcing parents to like send their kids to some kind of school. Whereas they, if they are rich enough, they can get send their kids to private schools. Else, but like they have to send their kids to schools, um, because the truancy laws as well too. It, it, we are forcing parents to like send their kids off to like schools. And uh, you can make an argument is like we should like enshrine that or like force people to do so as well too. And in fact, also come on, Sarah said that when she was like DA of like San Francisco, that she did issue out like um, a letter or email to like uh, parents that she was going in for truancy laws. And I was kind of like yikes at that sort of thing too, and how she was proud of that too. Um, and so I took issue with that uh, from her as well, too. But, like, you know what? Like, a uh, top cop or cock queen, Kamala Harris. Yeah, I'm not surprised that she will do that as well, too. I do hope for... Uh, but since, like, we are forcing kids, like, uh, parents to send their kids to schools as well, too, I wish there would there'd be uh, so much significant mental health and, like, counsels and psychiatrists and social workers uh, services available at the schools for, like, anyone to, like, seek uh, as well, too. Especially since, like, in one way, schools are kind of, like, can be a haven for people to at least not be uh, indoctrinated or surrounded by, like, are uh, brainwashed by their parents or their as well, too. Which is part of the, there are issues with homeschooling that I have, where it's just, like, um... Sometimes I understand like some people have to be homeschooled when they're traveling performers, but other times it's like when homeschool is a way for you to like keep your kids being like indoctrinated for how you want it to. That's where I I have that issue as well too. Continuing on, um, President Biden also established the first ever White House uh, Office of Gun Safety Prevention, led by President Vice President Harris, and took nearly forty uh, gun safety like executive actions, including going after dangerous ghost guns. Uh, he launched a new law enforcement like strike forces within the Department of Justice to gun track down on gun uh, trafficking. I think ghost guns is kind of like like um, three D printed guns. And that sort of thing too and it, that's like an interesting thing it's kind of like i don't know how hard it is and probably it's like kind of hard to to regulate what is a gun as well too so if you can just like disassemble uh gun parts to like various different things so it's not recognizable and it's like this is not a gun this is just like a collection of parts but you you uh create the gun by getting the ghost gun part 3d printed and there you go so um and so continue on um, while President Biden has like stood up to the gun lobby, Trump is proud to, uh, proud of doing their bidding. And he stood uh, before the NRA uh, convention this year and said, "During uh, my four years, nothing happened, and there was like great uh, pressure on me to like uh, having to do with like guns. We did nothing, and we didn't yield." Uh, while he did nothing, gun violence spike. And Trump like uh, oversaw the largest uh, single year increase in murders in history, including a 35% increase in gun murders. Yeah, he refused to limit the use of like high-capacity magazines after the Las Vegas shooting. Used like 
it used a dozen hundred round magazines to kill 58 people. And when they're confronted with like horrible gun violence, he still finally let's get over it. And yet, like, yet Trump was kind of like with flirting with ideas or interest in uh, trying to like do something to curb violence in like you know, mass school shootings, something like that. Because, like, in after the Parkland shooting, he someone suggested that, like, oh, the, the reason why this Parkland shooter like uh, shot up a bunch of like kids at this like high school or something like that is because of uh, violent video games. So, Trump, like, uh, uh, said he was thinking about like banning violent video games and he as a president has the power to do that and yet Gamergate voted for Donald Trump I and mean, I asked that to my younger brother when it happened in 2018 and it's like okay you voted for Donald Trump I know he did I asked him he said he did I wasn't surprised and you're a game gator and believe in like uh, it, uh in the, totally against like gamer censorship and that sort of thing too what do you think about, like, Donald Trump and uh, thinking about, like, saying he's going to ban violent video games? And all my younger brother said is, like, oh, I don't agree with him about everything. Could you not agree with me? You start accusing about everything? She's just a woman, a feminist, that have opinions and say such opinions on the internet. But no, and you're just accusing the worst person ever. She's just the same as Jack Thompson. And she's, like, a, she should be, like, banned from speaking there, that sort of thing, too. Or should not have been, like, a Time Magazine, like, a person of the year and that sort of thing, too. It's, like, no, like, my brother, when he had a blog, they wrote a blog every time Anita Sarkeesian, like, made a video. It, it's the same kind of, like, rant at, like, uh, those, uh, all those video responses and videos against Anita Sarkeesian. So we'll still just in like a blog form. So yeah, continuing on. Uh, Democrats will establish a universal background check, accept uh, support, uh, accept supported by the vast majority of the Americans, including gun owners. Uh, we will once again ban assault weapons and high mag capacity magazines. We will uh, we will require like a safe storage for guns. Democrats will end the gun industry immunity for liability. I mean, like yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm fine with that. And like. They, do that sort of thing too. Their parents have like victims have already like done lawsuits against like gun manufacturers for how they're marketing the guns. And I think there's like something to be said about that. Yeah. Continue on. Uh, so gun makers can no longer escape accountability. We will pass a national red flag law to prevent tragedies when, and by keeping the weapons out of like dangerous hands. We will increase funding to into the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms and for enforcement and prosecution and to the Federal Bureau of Investigation for firearm background checks. And because the gun violence epidemic is a public health crisis, we will fund gun violence research across uh, as the the central uh, the Center of Disease Control and National Institute of Health as a com com uh, as a con as a community uh, as well as community violence interventions. Yeah, I'm all for community violence interventions. And not surprising that they're going to just, like, increase funding to, like, the ATF and the FBI because they're going to increase funding for cops. They managed to tie it into, like, how they prevent gun violence, and I see that being an effective uh, messaging, messaging tool. And, no, the fact that, like, like the CDC and the um, NH, NIH was, like, banned from, like, being able to research, like, gun violence as well, too, which I think is, like, the legitimate kind of research to be done. And so, like, that, that was just proof of how, like, strong the NRA lobby was, the gun lobby was, and preventing that sort of thing to happen because it's like it was like kind of like proven that there's an epidemic there's a problem in this culture in this like country about gun violence as well too oh and maybe uh, a cdc study or in the nih study would carry some weight on that and affect policies yeah the gun lobby was prevented that from happening so the fact that like they they couldn't even like research this sort of thing is something I have significant problem about that because I'm all for research as well too. And I don't think there should be any kind of like any censorship or limitation on research for the most part or on most things as well too, uh, which is why I hate the classification of like cannabis for being like a level two classification, like a controlled substance as well too, because this will prevent like medical research from happen about that. Uh, whether or not there is a legitimate like medical uses for the CDC or for cannabis or at least cannabis oil as well. It's too i i would just like to say that there probably is and the, welcome back lucidity i'm gonna say there probably is because even if it is possible and anecdotal but like i think there's it's something worth uh, researching as well too and yeah so yeah the nih uh, nih and like cdc should like research gun violence as well too